10th of July 2014. Ahmadi Muslims in Kachi Pump in Gujranwala were attacked by local extremists in a sectarian attack. During the attack, three Ahmadi Muslims, including a seven-year-old girl and her eight-month-old baby sister, were martyred. In response to this brutal and merciless attack, the world head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, His Holiness Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, has said, This attack was an act of the most extreme cruelty and brutality, whereby innocent people who were sitting peacefully in their own homes were attacked and left for dead. It had been falsely claimed that this attack was provoked by a member of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. This allegation is completely untrue and without any foundation whatsoever. If those who perpetrated this attack truly felt that one person had provoked them, then they should have sought this arrest. But instead, they chose to burn alive an elderly lady and her two granddaughters. In truth, this was an entirely unprovoked assault on all forms of human decency, which led to the death of three people, including two very young children. This attack took place as the local police stood by and watched and took no action. It is yet another example of how the authorities in Pakistan are aiding the persecution of Ahmadi Muslims. Let it be clear that we Ahmadi Muslims will never undertake any worldly protest and nor will we ever take to the streets. Our response to all of the sustained persecution that we face is and will always remain to bow down before Allah the Almighty and to seek His help and mercy. This barbaric attack was conducted in the name of Islam. whilst the truth is that such violence has nothing to do with Islam or its teachings. Such merciless attacks can only be deemed as inhumane in the extreme. These types of vicious assaults are nothing but a stain on the pure and peaceful teachings of Islam. To kill and to violently oppose is not an act of Islam, but it is the act of those people who do not believe in God and do not even possess the most basic human values or decency. May Allah grant patience to all those left bereaved and to Ahmadi Muslims throughout the world. Three Ahmadi Muslim females were killed in an arson attack in Gujranwala, Pakistan on Sunday evening. The victims were an elderly woman in her 50s, Bushra Bibi, and her two granddaughters, Hira, aged seven, and Gainat, aged eight months. Another woman suffered a miscarriage seven months into her pregnancy. Yesterday, a non-Ahmadi boy named Saddam Hussain, he accused an Ahmadi boy whose name is Akib Salim, that he had displayed on his Facebook a photograph of, uh, distorted photograph of the Khana Kaaba, which he did not, uh, of course he did not. No Ahmadi not even can think of distorting the photograph of Holy Kaaba. And it was, I, I think it was planned because uh, the mullahs, the clerics immediately uh, started calling the people and suddenly thousands of people you know, gathered together. It was after Aftari time and uh, you know the people are busy in having Aftaris and all that. But suddenly thousands of people, this, in the form of a mob, they came, they started firing and they started attacking the Ahmadis house, houses. and uh, started burning them, taking the, the belongings outside and started burning them. So unfortunately, a woman whose name is Bushra Begum Sahaba, she was in the house with the two of her granddaughters. One is uh, Hira, eight years, and the other was Kainat. She was seven months old. So three of them, because of the fire, they were suffocated and they passed away. The lady who is martyred, Her daughter, elder daughter, who was expecting a child because of this uh, unborn baby died. The police was there, they could not do anything. The fire brigade came and the people, the mob was so charged and so large that they had uh, stopped fire brigade to come in. And even the rescue workers, they came and the people didn't allow them to go to the area. Eight others, mostly women and children, are being treated for burns. The arson attacks took place in the Kachi Pump area of Kujnavala. 
The incident began Sunday evening when anti Ahmadi Muslim extremists gathered for a pre planned protest in a place where more than 15 Ahmadi Muslim families live close to each other. The protest quickly turned violent as Ahmadi Muslim homes were burnt, ransacked, and looted. Eight homes and four shops were looted and gutted by the mob. Local Ahmadi Muslims sought to evacuate the homes, but were unable to reach the home of Bushra Bibi in time. The three victims died of smoke inhalation and suffocation. While police vehicles were present, the on-duty officers merely watched as the violence ensued. Furthermore, the extremists subsequently obstructed the fire brigade, forcing them to retreat before they could extinguish the flames. Ambulances at the scene were also pelted with stones. The Andhya Muslim community is being persecuted mercilessly in Pakistan. Since the establishment of the Ordinance 20 in 1984, hundreds of Andhya Muslims have been murdered and it has become the bedrock, the Bible, if you like, for extremists to bring sectarianism within Pakistan. The result has been the death of thousands of people. Pakistan has a great deal to do. The first thing it needs to do is to recognize there's a problem. The second thing it needs to do is make sure that it uses its state institutions as a means of preventing persecution and murder, not participating. Most recently, you will have heard the grandmother and two of her children were murdered by a brutal extremist mob with police standing by. The police and the judiciary and all state institutions must roundly condemn such activities and not just condemn them, they must ensure that they don't happen again. The attack comes as Pakistan prepares to celebrate the end of the holy month of Ramadan with Eid al-Fitr on Tuesday. Many Ahmadi Muslims were killed in anti-Ahmadi Muslim riots in 1974 in Gujranwala. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community spokesperson in Pakistan, Salimuddin, demanded an immediate, impartial and open inquiry, followed by punishment of the culprits. Tahmina Amir, MTA News.